All right, here we go. Oh, John, absolutely being like, oh, we know where we're going. <laughs> there is no question about this. We're going small battle. Go! We are going hero. Surprising. I, I know. Woo! Let's go. I guess uh, BB wanted to uh, just practice there in center a lot. It, it, it did the thing. We did the it thing. Did the it's thing. doing the thing. It's doing the thing. I yeah! like yeah! the thing. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but it's amazing. Oh, Chat. it's so cool! Chat, oh, it's you doing it. it! It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing, guys. You can I read the menu. <laughs> Chat, you're welcome. And oh, if you don't read, go read. Oh, it's read so good. Book. Oh, Get a little pop card. I'm popping off. It's so seamless. Hooray. Yay. All right, well, John, very Thank happy that they're me. above and present here on their first stock. BB unable to get any opportunity to read their menu. Instead of going for Zapple. <laughs> BB with a very brave jab to find, find themselves some space. Just unfortunately not able to punish those blue cool hoops. And John continuing to run away with this first stock. Cleaving cool right where is that? Uh, John Numbers does. All right, a little bit of heal online. All right, finally, though, the bounce. Such an important spell in this matchup. Shutting down both the Sun Salutation and the Soccer Ball. But John, not showing any sort of fear, still continuing to charge up the Sun Salutation. And when he does, that's you know that's still visual noise that maybe kind of has to respect. The bounce is only 30 seconds. And what is 30 seconds in a seven-minute match? <laughs> Even stocks. I mean, when you're zero, up against zero. John Numbers. Oh, I mean, I know the other player cares. I don't know if John Numbers cares. No, absolutely not. All right. John bringing us right back to even, though, as he waits out that, I believe it was oomph from BB. Catching the no tech as well with the soccer ball. John continuing to rack up all this damage. BB hasn't really found any sort of space to pull out, uh, pull out the spells in this second stock. We're seeing a much more aggressive BB. What BB has been going more for in sets against John is if they don't have the opportunity to bring out a spell, obviously they're fishing for bounce, right? Any other opportunity they're using to maybe stall for time, maybe if they get a good spell. Otherwise, they're trying to charge up the fire, they're trying to charge up the Zapple, and they're using the Zapple a lot more effectively for the level one or the level two, more level two than not, in order to get John at long range and a good kind of, uh, Ah, uh, what do you call it? Not a bounce rate, but a, uh... When someone's flying away. Knockback? Knockback, yes, thank you. I don't know why I blanked on that, thank you. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, level 2 has good knockback. Maybe holding on to their second stock despite the, uh, the re-grab there and starting to get the percentages back into their favor. John not falling for a sizzle, though. Soccer ball shenanigans coming through with the down smash. No and psych up? It would have been really good for Vivi, but probably betting that John would have just gone in and grabbed instead. John is just playing around Vivi's shield right now with the cross up Sun Sal charge, trying to make Vivi flinch, maybe pull out the spells. All right, Zoom, where are you going? I mean, it doesn't really matter because in for John and Zoom, that's just more time to charge Sun Sal. John taking any advantage against Sun Sal. Ooh. Maybe deep breathing. Maybe cheat out the game here. Oh no. BB though holding on their second stock for dear life as they find the back air. Getting them now a stock lead and now BB with a stock lead. Can we find some extra credit? Alright, extra credit is all good, but 185, how long is it gonna last? Your boy is getting a little hungry, thinking they're gonna get maybe some Chinese food after this, and John he Numbers trying to close this out early. Even stocks. Virtually even percent. 31%, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. All right, deep breathing online once again, but trading projectiles is in uh, Vivi's favor. I mean, you know, Hero's got good projectiles, but John Numbers has a, the soccer ball, the sun. I think it's two good projectiles right there. Yep. Bounce online once again, meaning BB can get a little bit more aggressive here at the ledge, trying to find something here in this scrap situation. Neither are robots, so they're just going to be going mono a mono. I, I, I just want to say, you know that John 
was counting down Bounce because he threw the Sun Citation pretty much just as Bounce ran out. It's a bit 50-50 when it comes to John and counting down the time for Bounce. He's so fast! And if you miss it, Didi's gonna take it. 1-0. The fastest slide-in F-Tilt in the West. It's almost like they buttered their feet for that. As we see there, maybe slow it down a bit. Using the Kaboom as a smoke screen. Kaboom and Look they go at in, and John sliding in. So, so speedy. Exactly. So VB going in, making, being very happy with that. As they're going in, a good interaction. As John was able to really, it was a very, very close set. But VV, of course, scares John with the kaboom right there. And it's a very, very scary moment when you use kaboom or sizzle because you really have no other choice but to either jump far away, use the double jump for it, or to shield. Yeah, kaboom especially just control so much of the screen so suddenly and like i was saying pretty much just a smoke screen for vivi to find their way in for that kill but we are finding our way into game number two as john takes us right back into small battlefield definitely not a bad stage for hero at all we say it all the time the biplats so good for just holding on to stage control so good for vivi to pull out the spells BB doing a good job of just taking that trade. They did it first with the sizzle versus John, and then trying to maybe fish for another good spell and taking the sun salutation to the face. 167, it's nothing against a good hero. So the zoom coming through, but John finding the so rare that John actually catches that. We've seen so many times where it's clipped the feet, clipped the head, I mean, a nice haircut now and then. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta roll the dice, and John rolling seventh right there as he finds Vivi's first stock. Do you really need two dice for that? You maybe need one die. Uh oh. Oh, misspaced the grab. Didn't quite read, or trying to read a cross up rather, but doesn't quite matter as John continues getting this extra credit. Already 72% side up, up online. Up. Which wow. means you know that the psych up throw is coming. That wasn't even a flash. I thought John was able to tech, like, be able to DI that. I mean, it's up throw is an extremely fast throw, so it's very possible that John was caught off guard. It happens to the best of us. What's going to happen next is John and VV are equal stocks, but not equal percent. Just a little bit. VV trying to threaten the ledge play with the Zapple, but. Soccer ball just a little bit too low, and John is able to find the space he needs back in the center. BB has maintained center presence. Good use of the wind to pop John up. No follow-up, though. Oh, I love that that falling Zapple to catch pretty much every tech situation from John, including the no-tech. John retreating back to stage with a small <laughs> down air to maybe catch BB coming in too hot. Accelerado Hero is just so fast. That initial dash went like a half stage. It's so exciting to see, always. They're so speedy. But you know what? That's on Citation. Very speedy. BB down to the last stock. John has brought this game back in their favor. Up one whole stock, 62%. Vivi has a mountain to climb. Yeah, and Vivi kind of swinging for the fences there, looking for something cheeky. But John doesn't really need to approach right now. He, he shouldn't just, approach. Why would you ever approach? You just hang back, charge some deep breathing, charge some sun salve. Just crack a cold one open and wait for it all to blow over. You got three minutes and 47 seconds, 46 seconds, 45 seconds. What do we got next? But this, I mean, this war of attrition does go both ways. As every time that John, you know, goes off to charge Sun Sal or Deep Breathing, that's an opportunity to, for Vivi to pull Accelerado or Bounce or perhaps Psych Up. Gotta be careful shielding at the ledge there. Psych Up and Oomph, a dangerous combination. Alright, I think Psych Up did get wasted on something. I wasn't quite sure where it, I didn't It was quite the shield, unfortunately. Alright, but Psych Up once again and the stanky leg. Definitely not a move you see killing very often, but it's very funny when it does. <gasps> Maybe one up tilt could have put John in an unfortunate situation where Vivi could have started to juggle them. Ooh, John catching the jump out of shield. 
forcing a potential ledge trap, but Vivi able to make her way back into center. That's a cool heal, but at what cost? No cost. Literally, they got damage. It was like, yeah, okay, I took 1% instead of the time. A cool. net loss, actually. <laughs> and not only that, but you only get two heals per stock, so that is absolutely a net loss. That is a, a stock uh, resource gone. Vivi has been going for those more often than not, so where it's like, okay, if I see one, I only get two, so I might as well use it. Yeah. But John, if they get the punish, it's not worth it. Yeah, and sometimes that, that like 11 or 12% does in fact make a difference. But it's not making too much of a difference right now. Woosh at a shield, though, could be huge for Vivi as they do find the Accelerottle. Okay, trying to... Oh, nice Woosh movement from the platform. Trying to go in at 125-74. John does not have deep breathing, but Bounce is going to make them have an advantage. But off stage, what do we see John have? A, an extremely brave dash attack from VV, but unfortunately that was what set them up at the ledge for John to take game two. Now, let's try it together. This is an even set. VV has been playing immaculately well trying to pull these spells whenever they can, whenever they have a moment, but John realizing when they have an opportunity, they're like, oh, you're going to go for a heal, or you're going to go for maybe something that's a little laggy. I'm just going to go in and grab, or maybe yeah. go in and dash. They have I mean, good burst, burst options. Even then, I'm definitely curious as to what was going through Vivi's mind for that last dash attack, because that was really what sealed their fate at the end. It's such a laggy, committal move. Last dash, dash attack, they took their hands off the controller and crossed both fingers. They really did, but we are moving on to the Luminary for Vivi. Shout out to Dragon Quest Eleven. That's we love you, one. Dragon Quest Eleven, especially on Switch. Why didn't we ever get those upgrades on PC? <laughs> Screw you, Square Enix. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, that's We never did! That's tragic. <laughs> Thanks, Yuzu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Vivi now with the Luminary, the power of the Luminary power up coming through. Already 70 to 85% unanswered from John. Finally, the uh, advantage breaker uh, up air. Just getting a little bit on the board, but Psych Up now online, which means things are going to be killing. Bounce, you're going to save Vivi from a lot of traps. We got another oof, and John is out of here. VV with a substantial lead against John. I really appreciate on that first psych up, VV actually choosing to go for forward throw instead of up throw, not staling the the killing up throw and setting up for a ledge trap as well. So just great awareness from VV. VV kind of taking an inch by inch, meter by meter. Ooh. John taking back air to back air. How are they going to recover? A clean recovery from VV. Their way back to center. Ooh. John being able to parry that Zappa level 1. Even if it was a Zappa level 2, it would have parried. Oh, just barely weaving out of the way of the F tilt. That definitely would have killed, especially with the way that Vivi was holding out. So, just barely John missing the spacing there. Zoom coming back around. <laughs> Vivi and risking right it all to zoom back on, and the forward tilt killing Vivi. Right into John's loving arms. Is loving would, you, would you call them loving? I, what what know, is love? Sometimes Because love, that hurts. Yeah, sometimes love hurts. You, 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 gotta, you gotta date something better, my man, <laughs> if love hurts. <laughs> Vivi and John, virtually even game. And John now with the percent lead does try to read the air dodge with the soccer ball, but Vivi has just not been able to find any time for, for spells or any sort of momentum back on their side. We go up Bounce at a good bang. Bounce Not and Accelerottle. All right, VV. <laughs> kind of weaving <laughs> so in and out. Fast. Psycho? Ooh, this is the death. If VV can kill and hit anything but shield, cannot. Yep, back air trying to pressure at the ledge. Deep breathing online right now, which is very scary for VV. Just finally running out, though, and VV's going to be able to live this next interaction. Can um, John almost getting lucky a second or a third time, rather? John can only be so lucky so often. But the psych up stanky leg means that VV is now with a stock lead. Very, I don't know if they quite misspaced their recovery there, but that's a lot of mana to burn. John definitely. What they were doing was catching the too low of a fall 
and Vivi having to burn all that mana to recover. This is last stock. Both players can take this game, move on in bracket. Who's gonna go on to grand finals? Yeah. Or uh, winners finals rather. The winner of this. Sorry, is winners finals. Yeah. I apologize. Winner of this is gonna move on to fight Carflow in winners, and both players just one stock away from that potential to get into grands. Who wants to face all those players and losers versus just Carflow? Carflow having won several Xenos at this point. It is, it's like, do I want to fight one really, really hard game or do I want to fight maybe a couple of easier <gasps> games? Swag to swag. close it out! Who, what? What is the percentage they, on that? They, they really did it. I want to I wanna see that one. Yeah, one run more. that back. What's going on it here? Dead even game. So if we pause that, right? John is over here, has an opportunity to like kind of tech that out. And if we're, if we're pausing, right? If we're going in, Vivi goes all the way back and they start to pull the menu. And right there, the whack. They, to they top deck deck. They, they did saw top that, deck whack and, and they like, see John jumping in. Let's, let's see what's well. going on here. And John. John has an opportunity either to jump up here, maybe be safe and camp out this area up here, or they go low, right? And if it's anything other than Thwack, they could, they can, you know what? They can actually parry, no, they can shield everything except that hatchet man right there. Mm -hmm. But as we see, John goes down and he even weaves out too. Right? So they go in, and Just John actually does caught. not. John does not have an opportunity to actually shield that. Ooh, they are look still at that. in the recovery frame. She's throwing it back, and that's yeah. what killed her. That's amazing. So if we just go just see that frame one, by frame by frame, down to the next 